Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Reassembly with me, Alathrix, and of course, welcome back to the new galaxy in which we are going agent hunting for a second. I completely forgot what they were called, but either way, that is our goal today. I've just finished recording something else, and as usual, we're finishing off the day with a little bit of reassembly. This is my chill game, and is continuing to be that. Now, before we do any of that, though, I'm tempted to swap out our weapon. Currently, we are using the rather deadly weapon, which is called, if I can find the unlocked weapon, somewhere. There we are, the HC3 which does 300 damage per round, 0.6 rounds per second, so it's very slow firing, with a decent range, in fact a very good range. But what if we go with grenade launchers, which explode on impact? So these do only 200 damage per round, but they have a splash radius, destroying whole sections, which I've found in this game can be very, 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 very powerful. Originally I wanted to go for the missiles for this kind of idea, we have this over here, the HM1, which is a very large missile launcher, a very similar ship resource cost. But I always use missiles, so for once we're going with the grenade launchers and increasing our size a little bit because these things are probably going to be quite bit. They're tiny! Oh, they're tiny little thick. Well, that is a shock, gotta be honest. Now, of course, we could have multiple weapon types, but I like having ships with one defined main weapon type. I don't know why I like that. I just kind of do. Now, I'm really hoping that this isn't going to be a complete waste of our resources there to buy these, because they are not the most long range. Only 1,000 range. That's the same as the lasers. So we're going to have to get very close to the enemy for these to be effective. But what I'm hoping... Is it going to be worth all that effort? We'll find out very, very soon. Oh, they're gorgeous! Also, using far less energy than the others, I should really check that kind of stat, but yeah, that's really slow- Whoa, that hurt a lot when it hit, though. Completely spammable. It's pretty easy to dodge these, and I have to get pretty close, but when they hit, they really hit. <laughs> these are going to get me killed constantly, though, how short range they are. But the actual damage per second is much higher than the others. But of course, they are much higher resource, so we actually have less of them. But because we don't need that much in the way of generators, we could probably sacrifice a couple of these, and maybe get another one or another two. Okay, going a bit extreme here, so how about I've sacrificed four of them? Okay, so we have four less generators now. Just, I mean, yeah, it's going to eventually run out, but that's with the lasers going as well. That'll take such a long time. Oh, that's a mothership. Why am I going directly towards it? Because I need to test out the weapon, okay? I think I might need to be in a faster craft for the... Oh, look at that. Just chunks of it flying everywhere. Get chunked, mate. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Getting way too happy with explodey things. Amazingly, I was trusted around explodey things. Both at university and with one of my first jobs. <laughs> oh, good job they couldn't see future videos from me. Anyway, boom! Oh, that is one. Yep, love it, love it, love it, just love it. Uh, we're gonna need more speed though. We're gonna need to get way more agile in this thing because we need to get close and then just brawl. Uh, I might need to unlock the unobtainium strut as well. It's a really, really cheesy kind of um, overpowered bit of armor. At least it used to be. I don't know how strong it is these days. But it's... Um, if good to upgrades. Da, 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 da. There we are. So it does actually cost ship resource unlike the rest, but it is teeny tiny. And look at the health of that. So that's 1,000 health, and I think it's the same size as the size 1 of the armor block, just this piece here, which is only 117. Bit different. Okay, maybe I need some kind of long-range weapon because this is silly. Yeah, okay, so um, with those extra generator bits of ship resource we've got, let's get back to our station to, to hand in these resources. I think I'm just going to add some more thrusters to this thing so we can get into combat faster. We've gone from being artillery, and now we're going to be berserker. Uh, get nice and close. These everywhere. Hope the enemy goes boom before we go boom. You know, the, the classic story, really. How much does this cost? Oh, a thousandth next size up. That is horrible. So really, just more speed is what we need. More so than anything else. Really, we should use... I think this might just be the wrong ship for this weapon, but I don't care. Uh, my goal today, then, is to... Yeah, my goal today, then, is to just 
kill at least one agent while using this weapon. Uh, simple as that, that's all I really want. Yep, I am so sold by this weapon, it's just, it's beautiful. It, it's, it's me in weapon form and I love it. Slow, sluggish, hard to aim, hard to use, generally doesn't work. But really silly. I mean, it's pretty as well, so it has some things I don't have. But you know, me in weapon form is what I'm going with here. It's also efficient, so... Okay, so it's me, but better in weapon form. Come on! Oh, look at that! Just a little bit of its corpse flying away! Oh, what am I doing? Why am I just going through? Oh, please have a farmer, please have a farmer, please have a farmer. Uh, oh, something exploded. How? Why? When? Ow. There you go. I'm so glad I have enough armor I can kind of do this now. Okay, we're getting close. Now i got to be careful, though. I think the green is either farmer... No, it's not farmer, because it's us. Oh, no, it's not those plants, is it? Because they are a nightmare. Oh, accidental! Almost kill, actually. Just a slight scrape of its paint. Oh, no, it's even worse than the plants. It's these fellas. The sentries. Yeah, I'm going to have to get good at using these. I might have to do manual aim with them because they do require so much leading, but at the same time, I'm terrible at aiming. So it's either the auto aim's predictive aim or it's my terrible attempts at predictive aim. I'm moving so slowly. Oh, good, there's a station there, but. Oh, dear. Okay, if we can get to that station, then we can go off the edge. Oh no, I know you. You're the one that's got 5,000 as the nukes. Okay, you're just the shroud. How does this do against the shroud? Oh my god, I had so much trouble with the other weapon against you. Of course, because it's, um, it's an area of effect hit, so it's going to hit their core. So if they've got only a small amount of armor around the core, this is just going to obliterate them. Oh, there's a really scary thing there, but let's see if I can just activate the station first. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Okay, we can die now, it's fine. <laughs> My goal has been achieved! Can you kill the station? I can't remember if the station's immortal or not. Wait, what? Oh. I'm going past the other station. I just went past the other station. Game. Why am I being punished for this? Why did I go all the way back here? There was another station there which I've been using. I'm upset. I will move forwards now. I'll be back in a second. What about versus you? About the same as the other weapon, maybe a little bit faster. Wow, we can move backwards so quickly. Yep, that's full speed backwards. Uh, I only really have them because if you get stuck on a rock or something, it does pay so much just to be able to move backwards. Ooh, we upgrade our size again. Good. That's our main problem right now. Uh, honestly, I'm considering getting the next size of shield up and having some shields. We could go like this. Because I feel like, against the agents especially, we're only going to have a short period of time where we can actually fight them before they destroy us. So, having a bit more burst might be the key here. So, if we do that... But then we still need to shed a few more ship resources. I mean, it could just go... Well, if we get stuck, we don't need to move very quickly, so... Ooh, that's, uh... That's just how it's gonna be for the time being, then. Sure. These things are so expensive. Though, they do kind of hint about making a smaller craft, so perhaps using the unobtainium struts... I can unlock the now they're so cheap. Using the unobtainium struts, making a much smaller craft. I'll try versus the first agent, but I think I'll design a new ship by the end of the video. If not, at the start of the next video to use these. Because as much as I love the other weapons, these are pretty explosive, so, you know. Revenge! I'm bringing my death. Yes! I killed the 5k! Okay, that was good. I'm going to actually hand in that resource. I am so sold on this weapon. It's just beautiful. It is beautiful. Don't go bit in this happy playing reassembly now, just... As we know, happiness is shiny things. Oh yeah, I forgot I can strafe loads now. I've actually increased the strafe ability of this thing. So, maneuverability is actually really good. It's just the um, top speed is terrible. 
Oh, look at that. It starts to, like, stagger fire when it's out of energy. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna get you. Uh, I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna die to this, aren't I? This is... This is... This is how it ends. Oh, one hit, though, and it instantly blows off half its... Ah, uh, buddy. Oh, no. That's a battle nurse. Why? Why must I do this to myself all the time? Okay, good. We're actually healing faster than they're damaging. We just have so much armor. Do we get back okay? So we can brawl, but I think we need more armor if we brawl. Yeah, I think the unobtainium idea might be the better one. Uh, are you ever going to have a factory for me to sell to? Ye Ooh. Oh, you're taking things. Okay, that was weird. Eventually, we'll all just stay here until then. <laughs> it's so satisfying. <laughs> yeah, much prefer this to the other weapon. I'll probably get destroyed a lot more using it, but, I mean, that's half the fun of reassembly. Death is a setback. Today, we likely meet our end. We're also going to meet shiny things. Apparently, there are multiple ships to this um, agent, so I need to be careful. So the red's fighting it. There it is. I really think just running in and trying to destroy the leader is the main thing here, because that's what gives us the resource. Oh, that laser hurts what it has. Don't know what it has exactly, but there we go. Destroyed. Goodbye. That was about the same size as us. Oh, I think it is red. Okay, so that agent is actually using the red faction. That was it. So that destroyed the enemy and gave us a load of resource. Blaster fish. Ooh, look at these designs. I don't think they could be part of the actual faction. Ooh, nasty. Explains why the damage was good, though, on the actual agent, main agent. Um, because, yeah, for sheer firepower, red can be really good. As you can see here, I'm being peppered with so many hits. It just lacks when it comes to armor and protection of itself. In general, oh, I was so, what is that weapon? I don't even know what that weapon is. Okay, let's run away so we can heal up. Okay, let's try that in. Then I'm going to try and clear up some more of that agent. I'm probably going to keep on going until I get destroyed and then move on to a different agent. I didn't even see how the enemy got destroyed. I was just holding down fire and hoping for the best and it vanished, which is a good sign for this weapon. Oh yeah, you're already full. For some reason, it's refusing to build, and I'm not quite sure why, honestly. Wait, how do I do this? I just did it a second ago. Command mode, and how do I see its build queue? I just did it a second ago. Yeah, so it's meant to be making that, but it's just refusing to. I don't know how to force it to do anything, so... The only thing I'm really think of doing is just, um... Is just making a fa yeah. So that's how. So as you can see, you can make any of these, but it just refuses to. I don't really know why. Normally, it starts spamming them. So the way I've got around it is simply going here, adding a factory to myself, and I'm going to save anyway. I'm going to upgrade my size anyway. So there we go. There we are, then we can just sell resource ourselves. We're in a slow zone. So here's the goal then for the rest of the episode. Get to the other agents, destroy both of them. So that's be three agents destroyed today. Then go through the wormhole and make a brand new craft specifically designed to using this weapon. Probably using the unobtainium... Ooh, struts. Because we don't want it to be particularly big. What are you fighting? Oh, the salt of the Borg, essentially. You know what, actually, why am I getting involved? No, no need. Not gonna bombard the world. Stop shooting your lasers against them. Let's see if we can get past and get to that next station. Just hop from station to station until we're at the next agent. I've added one more gun to the front, so our burst is even stronger now with this thing. Though it does seem like it's not a particularly bursty weapon, even though it is. It's, it just seems like it's more designed just to hold down fire and just collapse entire areas. <laughs> Any weak spot this weapon instantly exploits. 
I think that's why it's so strong, really, because of the large splash area and the fact you've got so many of them. If it has any weak um, connections or anything, it's instantly broken, whereas the other weapon, though very strong and long range, it doesn't explode upon impact, so it's only hitting that one little part. Oh, going through an entire sentry area here. Thankfully, the, the slow zone's actually going to benefit me a lot because some of their most deadly weapons are missile-based. Like the nuke they have, so I can kind of avoid it. Or just avoid the shots, honestly. So, yep, slow zone's very good against those. Ooh. There's a zone here. Let's try not to attack the Borg. Just peaceful. I am your friend. Nope. No need to destroy you. You are neutral, not hostile. Which means if I don't attack... Oh, actually, uh, what I should do, before I forget, is put all the point defense just on something else. Because point defense will trigger when something gets too close to you, even if you're not targeting it, or if you're targeting it. I think it's even if you don't target it. But um, either way, a lot of times it goes off and I don't want it to, and then it counts as me firing, and then everything goes hostile. But in this case, I can just go right here and then be attacked for some reason. I don't even know why I got attacked then, but really, it's it's their loss. Uh, let's be real. Oh, the station has my weapon. Yeah, have fun fighting that, lads. So I looked back at the footage, because I, I am curious about how the AI acts in this game, because it can be a bit branded sometimes. And I thought I may have knocked one of them or something, but no, it was activating the station that caused them to be aggressive, which makes sense, because once the station was activated, it did destroy their buildings. So maybe stations are just universal. Oh no, the next agent's in a slow zone. As fun as it is to get away from enemies with that- Oh, shouldn't have fired them. Especially when my point defense is currently offline. Take out those drones, please. Thank you. Yeah, slow zone's great for getting away from things, but remember that my weapons are very slow as it is, and I think in a slow zone, they barely move. So I'm gonna have to be point blank against them. Oh, hello, is that a Mother Thrix and his children? A wild Mother Thrix. Don't hit the book. Don't run into the. B Stop it. <laughs> yeah, bit branded. Oh, one of me. One of me. Well then. Can I afford you to come in? You know what? No, I want to fight on my own. Um, I'll, I'll make fleets and everything later as well. So many things to do, and there's other factions and mods I want to use. There's just so much I want to get through. At the moment, I'm just having fun with an explodey gun. You know, simple things. Like me. The faction's neutral? I thought it'd be hostile. I don't actually know what this faction... Oh, no. You're in such a weak position. I don't actually know what faction... Okay, it's fighting me anyway. Oh, are they all missiles? Fire, 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 break it, break it, destroy it, yes. Yep, smart of me. Instantly forgot about point defense. Remembered it earlier, but not when I needed it. Oh, they're drones! Oh, that's even worse than that of point defense. Okay, yeah, with point defense, they're gonna be hard pressed to kill me. Oh, are they Terran? Okay, they can't be farmer. Yay, what of me? Push out the agent, control the area. We are farm tricks. Look how slow our shots are. Yeah, I've got to be right next to them, and even then it hardly even hits. Light carrier. Yeah, I think this is Terran. I think they're Terran. Oh, I love... I do love, um... Strikecraft so much. Drones. They make me happy on the inside. Was that it? Okay, that one wasn't as strong as some of the others. Okay, so let's go after the next one. This one's only one ship. So I don't have to be so sneaky. This time I'll be just running up to them and seeing who wins. A bit less cheesy. I mean, I didn't intend that one to be cheesy, but it so happened. I can't really redo it. Oh, we have loads of ship resource now. Fantastic. Not ship resource. We have so many credits. Okay, once again, let's go to the next station. And just keep on hopping from station to station until we can kill the other invaders of this galaxy. I mean, because we are an invader. We just came through a wormhole to get here. I am still tempted as well to build a new laser brawler, just do loads of these lasers. I mean, imagine how many we could put on them now, in comparison to before. Just a brick of lasers, it'd be very, very fun. Ooh, no, 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 strafe, 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 eee! Gentle nudge. Yep, maybe that's one piece of armor, that's fine. Honestly, considering it's me, that was pro-handling. And station. Okay, I'll be right back once I'm closer. 
I'm now realising everything is classed as neutral, and I probably could have snuck past a lot of more things if I didn't fire at them first. I'm realising I may not be the good guy. I may in fact be the opposite. Boink. <laughs> As I ram into one. Yeah, subtle hint there. Very subtle. Oh, and yeah. That is one of the problems. I guess that's kind of what's always been happening. My point defense goes off, and then they count me as hostile. Because if they're fighting something else, and I'm too close, and they're using any weapons my point defense can pick up on, they're going to fire at it. So note to self, if you want a nice, easy passage through pretty much any territory, turn off your point defense. I think so far, only the Scythe have been... Sorry, the Scythe is one of their ships. Only the Sentinels have been actively hostile to me. Like They'll go after me miles away before I'm even close. Though I don't know that for certain, so next time I'll try and give one a friendly hug. And if I'm dead, I know I was right. And if I was wrong, I'll be alive and humiliated. It's a win-win, really. So there's one of them, so it lied about there being more than one. about my size, but that was like a custom weapon. Yeah, I think that's a custom weapon, or is it... It could be the Sentinel, actually. No. Do the Sentinels have weapons which look like, um... These? Like a laser-type weapon? I don't know. I can't tell what it is. No, there's charged weapons. Uh, actually, that may be Sentinel. I'm really... Okay, so there's a swarm over there, so let's try against this, this one on its own, which is currently just firing at debris for some reason. Hello. Okay, so it runs away the second you get close. Okay, so it runs and it turns to fire. Okay, so it's got its main weapons, then like a side laser, and then these... Ooh! Okay, some nasty explosives. This is where turning off auto fire would be great. Okay, wow, that obliterated a section of me. Learn my lesson. Auto aim here is going to be a massive hindrance. They move too, too much, so the... Oh, God, they're everywhere. Just one ship over and over again, and then nast. Okay, so it's so it's agile, and it has a lot of firepower. I don't know about its defense, because I don't think I landed a single hit. Okay, I think I've, I definitely think this ship has uh, met has met its match. This type of weapon is going to be terrible versus this, and honestly, I don't think I have the skill to try and outmaneuver that. But I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. So I have one more try uh, to try and get to the agent, or at least kill one of them. After that, I'll have to redesign the craft. Uh, Still want to stick with the same weapon, just for fun. But maybe a more agile, fast ship so I can get nice and close and just bombard it then. Okay, things are already firing at me, so I'm not going to get that close. But let's try... Okay, so they're not sturdy at all. So if we get close, we can obliterate them. But they are faster and more agile than me, so it's going to be a... Oh, is that the actual agents? Oh, I'm going to die, though, now. They're... It's already knocked out my engines. I can't move. I need to get close to the darn thing. Okay, go behind the rock if I can. Don't let those do hit me, please. Okay. Damn, that was my chance then. Chance to kill the agent. So I killed one. It is really the... It is going to be a matter of who hit who first with this, because I lost this entire front section to that first hit. I lost almost all control. I think almost all of its ship resource is in movement and weaponry, whereas mine is kind of dispersed. Sometimes being more specific is the better option, honestly, and I think they're showing that. I'm just not agile. Yes, run into me! Oh, I feel so cheesy for that, I'm so sorry! Instant regret. That's a fantastic design, it really is. It's so much better than mine. Just, just... I'm not going to claim a victory here, because I feel so cheesy for that. Okay, so let's see what happened if you actually notice me. So, fire a warning shot, let it aggro, there we go. Yeah, look at that, the entire front section just went. So, if, if it lands a hit on me, I lose my entire front. It is how we're sitting here. It's definitely a counter ship to mine. So, yeah, I kind of wish the agents were a bit more aggressive to the player, because sneak attacks like that are going to be... Definitely the way forward. Ooh, look, I'm a stick. That's a fantastic design. Not sure which faction it is. Yeah, I think it's the custom weapon one. Because I don't know what those weapons are, so I'm thinking it's that. 
But there we go, so all the agents are cleared. I am still going to redesign the craft though, so what I'm going to do is go like this, new design from scratch. That supports vegetation apparently. What's the mass? 20, whereas this is 15. So it's not much heavier. Actually, you no, know, size wise, it's a little bit bigger, so maybe this will work out. So much smaller craft. Make sure to use the actual largest thrusters for movement this time because they're more efficient, I believe. And we'll see if we can use our weapons a bit differently. It's kind of funny that the grenade launcher type weapon is actually best used point blank when you run into the enemy. Speaking of which, though, before I forget, I'm going to spend all of that to increase our ship resource. So just for reference, this hull here, so the one size down the max, has less health than this, and this regenerates faster and has less mass. This has slightly more health than that, that's the highest size you can get from this armor piece. I was using this a lot in the other craft, but yeah, the unobtainium clearly defeats everything else in terms of just health per size, and that fast regen as well. So first, we're going to start off with a core of just bricks. So yeah, I mean, that's 2,000 health right there, so it's two of... Th these, actually more than two of these worth of health in every two. That's going to take a long time to get through without explosives. And even then, it's going to take a long time to get through because all these are in the very center. Oh look, one of the power things is off. Okay, I'll be nice this time. But then how do we do the rest? I guess the rest will just build with like normal blocks and really focus a lot more on thrusters. It'll be a lot lighter this time, that's the main thing. So that is 20 mass. Considering how big these were before, and that's 160 right there. Okay, so the center is essentially a brick. But we're gonna try and make it a brick which disguises itself as if it isn't a brick. If you use these kind of bricks for housing, your housing may fall apart. And he's very vulnerable to wolves. Did I really just try and make a Three Little Pigs joke? Little piggy, little piggy, let me in. Not by the hair on my unobtainium strut. Okay, slowly getting there. Turning speed's okay already, but forward speed's gonna be way too slow right now. <laughs> oh, that was an understatement. Whee! Slowly using our weapons to speed up. <laughs> Actually, that's half decent. <laughs> of course, naturally, my propulsion would end up devolving into that. Yeah, it's that the thrusters on the uh, the farmer faction aren't the best, and I'm just not using enough of them as well, which definitely doesn't help. Uh, maybe I just need to extend the back a bit, so it makes it a bit longer, and then just add way more thrusters down. Sounds reasonable to me. Okay, I think I'm nearing the end of this right now. Not only because I am starting to become creatively drained, because I have actually been recording Stellaris for 12 hours today, working on the next full playthrough, uh, but also, I am getting very tired. <laughs> it is currently way too early in the AM. Because the turning speed is decent. Probably not going to be as fast as I want. It's definitely faster than the old craft, and that's probably enough. Wow, look at that! <laughs> well, it's something at least. <laughs> That's the goal. Actually, some of those went really fast. If we had some of the weapons on the very outside, I imagine once we get to full spinning speed, some of these would go just super quick. Is there a way to like lock them in place? Um, because obviously they're. Uh they're all turreted, but can you lock them fi uh, facing forward when you fire them? I don't think you can. It doesn't really matter anyway, it's just a silly idea. So, is the enemy faction still here? Okay, good. We're almost there. We have loads of ship resource to play with, but I kind of want these things to be out in the wild, and if they get too expensive... Well, that's not really going to happen, is it? They can't fit there, can they? No, that's a shame. A couple more turning pieces, though, so that's neat. Just kind of fitting these small thrusters wherever I can. You know, I don't think I went far enough with these struts. I could have way more than this, but don't want to go too insane. I also don't want it to be so super quick that I can't control it. And considering I have proven time and time again that my driving skill is very poor, I can't really make it go too fast. Uh, actually, I quite like that. Could have a couple of thrusters on the side there for a bit more utility. 
Right now, moving backwards is going to be a nightmare. There's only a couple of thrusters, but considering it's only if you get stuck, we'll live with that. I'm just not a fan of the thrusters in this game in general in terms of how they look. It's one of the few things I just don't gel well with. I don't know why, but every time I build anything, it ends up being vaguely insectoid. Maybe it's because currently, if I look to my left, I can see three tarantulas and a scorpion. And a very sleepy spider. You can tell it's sleepy because it's currently hanging from its web by one leg. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm being distracted by my own animals there. And that's in this room. Also, yes, I am fully aware that a lot of these things aren't connected and are thus extremely vulnerable. I just don't have the time right now to sort that out. Don't worry, this will be updated later on. Yeah, there's also some parts which weren't quite symmetrical, so I'll go over that as well, especially next video. I think this is where we're going to stop it now. Honestly, there's a lot of things here I really want to change, and I will change in the next video, but for now, this is it. Its turning speed's going to be really good, and its movement speed forwards is going to be a bit slow to start, but definitely faster than the old craft. Hopefully all that armor inside will do decently. I kind of wish the green blended better with the white here, because from a distance it looks like separate parts, a bit too much. I kind of wanted it like an exoskeleton kind of vibe, but it looks too separate. Still, I am happy enough with it. I'm happy enough with it. It's, it's a 5 out of 10. It'll do. Well, that was more of an accident than uh, something I intended to do, but it definitely shows the damage of this weapon if we can get close fast enough. It did start to turn on us, but we just kind of <laughs> body slammed it and then spammed the weapon. Come on, hit me a few times. I want to see how well our armor holds up. Okay, so that's one of the large hits there. That would have taken me out before, but yeah, the struts held. The outer armor got removed, but the struts held. So the tactic of this thing is to throw itself at the enemy, go on its side, because that's its strongest part, and then just spam fire. Ooh, we have enough resources to trade in. Okay, let's get back to our base. So this works. Um, I do have a love-hate relationship now with this weapon. I think it is definitely the most fun when it works, but trying to get it to work, especially if you're like me and you're not the best at games, okay? There's no shame in it. I admit it constantly. It's a bit difficult to control your ship and try and aim them, and I don't think me going off auto-aim would really help. Just because I think I'd end up missing more. But the auto-aim doesn't work fantastically with this because how slow these are, and enemies that move even slightly, you end up missing a lot of the time. I actually think this craft would do pretty well with, with uh, lasers, just because you get up right up against them, then just spam the lasers, it's auto-hitting, you can probably carve into them pretty well. Ooh, I can see why this is an unsafe station. Get away from that station, it needs to be safe. If I die now, I'll respawn miles away if this thing goes down. And once again, yeah, the outer arms get shredded, because it's not connected properly. Oh, it's dead. It must have, like, killed its core and, like, nothing else. Okay, let's give this a shot using lasers. Lots of lasers on this thing. Hello there, battle nurse. I mean, that was quick. Definitely not easier to use than the other weapon. Less satisfying, but also kind of satisfying in its own way. Just brutal efficiency. Well, we could go way more than this. This is nowhere near how much our energy can handle right now. Although there's lots of them. Perhaps we could go with the larger lasers, the station lasers. Where are you? Also, a large shield would be cool. But yeah, here's the larger Arcus. It's more damage, but less range, and that's the thing which I really don't like. Obviously, these will be huge as well. Whereas these things are tiny, that's why you can stack so many. Come on, where's your mothership? So I want to fight a mothership. There it is. 
I'm just going straight for the mothership. I'm going to pretend everything else doesn't exist. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to beat lasers. It really is. They're just... Oh, hello. That's the, um... The agent again. Just shredded half it apart. Yep, yeah, it's gone. We even took a hit still. Oh, they're just better, aren't they? But there's so much less fun. The craft I've made is decent, though. Well, I am happy with it. I really am. It's just, it's not done correctly. Okay, I've got to call the video here, otherwise I'll be playing all night. It's now... I can see the sun outside now, so it's that early. Uh, if it, if you've enjoyed this video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Reassembly is a series you wish to see continue in the future. In the next episode, maybe I'll make the ultimate laser battle barge, or maybe I'll try and make the grenades work again, or maybe I'll go over the other weapons. Look, there's so many more things to do. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, because I really have. And with that, goodbye. Thank you for watching, have a lovely day, and do take care. Remember, the explosives and lasers are the true source of happiness.